So today I'm actually going to tell you a genuine story of how I saved $3,000 a month with 30 lines of code. It sounds incredible, it sounds clickbaity, but for my specific case instance, that was how much it was going to cost me to license uh, the Oxford English Dictionary or the Cambridge Dictionary was even more apparently. So what I'm doing today is, is showing you how I used a GitHub open source library, how I imported some JSON files and I exported it as a CSV file, which was really useful for the teaching tool that I make to help all teachers plan for language learners, SEN and EAL students. And so far I managed to get 1500 teachers using it. It saves them 30 hours of planning. It, it's just an incredible passion project that I want to share with people and help people with. And so now I'm able to deliver it in an even more powerful way. So here is how I save $3,000 a month with 30 lines of code. Today we're going to import some JSON files. And so for that we need the JSON library. It's a standard library, so no special imports required. And I've just put the alphabet in there because I think it's a bit easier than playing around with strings. Just a straight copy and paste job. So the first thing I'm doing is setting up a couple of a list and a dictionary, process words and master dictionary. And then what I am doing is I'm setting up the uh, for loop. Now, incredibly in Python, if there's a name pattern, you can open all 26 files at once. I mean, that's incredible value for your, your coding money, isn't it? Uh, once I've done that, I've got to go into the data. Now the data is in quite an interesting format, let's say, but let's be honest, I'm saving myself $3,000 a month, so I can live with that. I'm just gonna set up my for loop and go through all the values. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to skip any words with spaces in because they're not useful for my program. Here is the JSON file and I've just stopped it at coding so you can see it quite clearly. And what you can see is that once we bring it in, there are lists within lists within lists. Or in the original JSON file, it was objects within objects. And so that's the reason that we've gone inside the word. Then we have to go inside the list for the meanings. We've got depths of these arrays and what we're doing effectively is flattening this so we can have a very simple to use CSV file. Then we start to assemble our CSV file and the first thing I do is get rid of any commas in the actual dictionary so that we don't have any extra lines missed and we just replace them with a blank. Uh, then we put it all together with the word definition and speech part. I then print it. Again, optional, it will slow down your program. And finally, I append the whole line into a list. Now the exception is a bit lazy, basically if it doesn't work it skips on to the next word entirely. And once we've done that we use the with open file name to actually pop it into a CSV file. And that is how I managed to save $3,000 a month and my RDPT program can remain free and open source for everybody to enjoy. Huge thank you to the original GitHub, I know it must have taken a massive amount of work for that to be done. but know that your work lives on and is helping teachers everywhere. Uh, please, if you're enjoying this YouTube channel, uh, give me a sub. Please let me know what you want for your next video. It's hard to know what people will like and, and what they're interested in, but uh, this was a request, so I promised to show how you could import JSON files and use the power of Python to help you with your JavaScript and how Python and JavaScript can work together. See you next time.